Hello everyone, we're back with new interesting project and this project is about using Todd GFX on ESP32 microcontrollers. So let's move on and see what we have. As an introduction, Todd GFX is an advanced free of charge graphic software framework optimized for STM32 microcontrollers. So what we are going to do is that we would like to use the Todd GFX output on the other microcontrollers like ESP32. For this sample project, we are using WT32SC01 Plus development board that is mainly based on ESP32 within the color touch screen. What we've done actually is that we are using Touch GFX generated outputs and we created a customized hull for our ESP32 written from scratch and mapped the files into our project and after that we exactly have the same feature of the touch JFX on our development board. So no matter what is the microcontroller is, but right now this project developed based on the ASP32 microcontrollers. For everyone who use the touch JFX, this is the interface of the touch JFX application. You can design whatever you want on the GUI. So here is a sample project. We have a three uh, different pages and one for the scale and rotation, for the texture and scale, and for the scrolling pages. After that also, we have added a slide pages into our project, and on the right side, you can see the component that we have used in our projects. All of them are included. And we would like to start the first simulator of the Tide GFX to see what is the project's like. So this is the simulator of the Tide GFX, and we would like to show you what we have designed on the touch gfx it's a simple project actually you can see the slide page this is the scroller bar so you can show for as the gauges and the progresses this is the scale and the rotate here is a rotating function and the zoom out and again it's rotating function and after that here is a texture and a scale you can see we can scale the texture and we can uh, Diff rotating on the different axes like X, like Y, and like Z for a depth. And everything is working on the simulator. So at the end, I want to show the scrolling page. This is the scrolling page. And there's a button on it. So this is what we've done. Now, right now, we would like to generate the output files for from the touch GFX using the simple button here on the application. And the file is now generated. So what we want to do right now is to copy the generated outputs from the touch GFX into our projects. So on the left side of the screen, here is our project workspace. And on the right side is the files that are generated by uh, touch GFX. Now we are going to copy and paste them into our project folder. And uh, many things must be copied from the text, from the texture, from the uh, some uh, CPP files, some images, even phones must be all copied to the exact folder that we have. We want to map into our projects. I have to say that uh, the important part of this project is that the touch GFX mainly used for the STM32 microcontrollers, and the missing part that the touch GFX is not generating is that you cannot have the core files for the GUI. So you have to create everything by your, your side for having this feature on the other microcontrollers. And we hope that the STM company will uh, generate new things and make use of touch GFX widely for the other microcontrollers. In this case, these tools will give us uh, many features. And after that, right now, our copy and pasting process is finished. Now, here is our project. In our project, you can see we have the same folders that we've mentioned. And here is the Arduino. You can use also on the other platforms like IDF. This is the feature that we have developed. This file, we, what we've developed is for our project. And uh, you can see we have a different thread right now, one for the GUI here to make the GUI more smoother on our uh, development board. And uh, finally, we want to show you the output of this project. I'm going to build this project. Now let's build the project. 
we are waiting for the project to be built. Uh, actually, I have to again add the output of the Touch GFX is not usable for any other microcontroller. But what we've done is that we've created the map library. We've created our own API to make a use of the output of the Touch GFX in other microcontrollers. And for this project, we are using based on the ASP32. And uh, we will see how is the output of this project. Now uh, we are waiting for a project to be rebuilt. So it's going to be finished. And after that, we will upload it into our development board. And you can see the result. Now we would like to show you how is the final project. And this is the final project. It is uploaded into our development board. You can see it's exactly the same as the simulator on the computer. Right now, this is the rotating and zooming feature uh, of the simulator and it's running on our development board. The image here is the SVG image. For the texture here, you can see for the zoom out and zoom in based on the texture here, it's a really critical things for any GUI developer. You can rotate on every axis here and it is working smoothly as you can see. And here is the scrolling page exactly what we have for the uh, different layers. You can work and have it on your GUI. And finally, here's the scrolling pages here. And uh, actually you can see here we have uh, the scroll bar, you can change the percentage and everything works smoothly.